So guys, welcome to the unboxing of the new Vapor X R9 290X and this Vapor X is from Sci-Fi. I mean, whoo, I've waited for this graphic card for some while and finally I have it. Finally. So what kind of graphic card is it? This is not the normal Vapor X R9290 graphic card from Sci-Fi with Tri-X and 4 gig of DDR5 frame, but this has a whopping 8 gig of DDR5 RAM. Let me get the camera to focus that you guys can see what I'm talking about. Whoa, man. So let's start with the unboxing. I am so excited to unbox this graphic card. So on the front page, we have the normal Sapphire kind of robot, kind of brutal designed 3D robot or whatever they used to call it. I mean, yeah. It's a very nice presentation and on top you have the logo which says that Vapor X R9 290X Radeon graphic uh, yeah it's a Radeon graphic card yeah whoa on your left on my left for you guys on the right you have 8 gig of DDR5 frame as I said the DDR5 8 gig is towards people that has 4k monitor that would like to really play 4k gaming on their 4k monitor because 4k needs much ram and it needs much ram to play 4k on here you have the vapor x technology integrated you have the tri x triple fans i mean guys it's a triple fans the tri x triple fans hmm i can't wait to test it out then continuously one of the most important thing that you can have by a graphic card is when they give the specs what kind of fans they are so you guys can see it's written here and as we said it's an AMD graphic card so it has the GCN architecture architecture and what does it do the GCN architecture is one of the architecture that AMD have on the market it supports mental API technology it has the technology for metal and also UEFI compatibility and down here we have the normal simple look of AMD Radeon R9 series so let's turn the box and let's see what on the other side so on this side we don't have much information it's the normal standard logo which is written there Let's turn on the back side of the box to see what we have. So on the back side we have even further information with more of the technology to be explained. So guys, I'm not going to read this through. You guys can read it if you want to. I'm just going to go slow above the texture so you guys can read. So if you want, you pause the video and read what kind of technology is. So let's turn the graphic card on the other side and see what we get on the other side. Also nothing great, it's just the normal information of AMD. So now let's get into the in-depth of the unboxing. For me, it will take like 4 minutes to unbox this package. But for you guys, it's just a blink of an eye. So let's get into the unboxing and see the new Sapphire Try X with Vapor X R9 290X. So here we are. So I unbox the package, and inside the package, there is another package. Let's see what's inside the package. 
So inside the package, let's open up. We have front part. Wow, this is nice packed. It has a nice cushion, soft material to them. It's like a damp material. Yeah, it's nice. Ah, get away. So we have at the first place the main graphic card. I mean, guys, this is huge. It's oh yes. Don't forget this graphic card needs much length. It's a huge graphic card and that's how it looks like. We will come back to the graphic card soon. Let's get to the interior, what we have in the interior. More boxes. Yeah, you guys can see. Get out of my way. More boxes. Ah, get the box out. So, and nothing left in the box. You guys can see around the box. Are we? Oh, sorry guys. It didn't went well. So now let's see what's the accessory that we get inside this box. Nice. So we get here 1,5 meter HDMI cable, high speed cable. It's nice to have. So anybody who doesn't have HDMI high speed cable has it 1,5 meter. These are really nice quality HDMI high speed cable. Then we got here. Ah, look at this. Wow, nice. And nothing else. Manual factory, no needed on the side. And we got here a normal four ping to a eight ping PCI bracket. So you guys can see it's included. Never use this on this graphic card. Never use it. If you have a graphic, if you have a APU that doesn't support this pin, 8 pin, buy yourself a new APU. Do not use this. You are just going to get headache with this graphic card because it needs more power than it is. And X, again, the same thing to an 8 pin on the side. Then we have here, ah, the Sapphire graphics card, quick installation guide. So guys, you guys can see installation guide. Don't need to read it out. Then we have here, the driver CDs. I recommend you guys to go and download the latest driver from AMD. Do not use this CD for the first time. Okay, maybe you do not have internet at home, but unfortunately everybody has internet at home. So do not use this CD, except you don't have internet at home. I mean, then you can use the CD, but go and get the new latest uh, graphic card driver and um, it should work the best with mantle and all kind of supports on the side. So what do we have here? We have here, wow, nice. Sapphire, WG Sapphire information about their product. And yes, I have here the pro where my hands is, is the product key. So I can't show you guys. You guys can see this. But the main code I can show you because this mine. And you get the mouse trap pad, the mouse trap. So nice effect. I mean, it's included nice, but I have something better than that. So I will not need it. So that's. Let me show you guys. That's what comes with the graphic card. Let me get this on the way. So, that's what you get with the graphic card that you guys can see. Getting it closer to you. So, now let's go to the main graphic card. The one which is the only one that we need to know how it looks like and what it does. I can't wait for that. So guys, here's the graphic card itself and let's get the graphic card out of the plastic sealed shield kind of sort of protection yeah and uh, one thing that i read on this card which made me laugh is this one here <laughs> it says you must connect this graphic board 
to the computer's power supply. I mean, okay, people that doesn't know, yes, if it's your first time, it's nice that you have, but if you need it, yeah, you can need it, but mm, it's useful. Yes, it's very useful, but for me especially, it is logical that I have to connect my graphic card which sucks over 330 or 350 or depending on how much overclocking you have on it 375 watt and so it's logical so let's get this nice card out of the plastic shield and guys look at this beauty <gasps> this card is huge and heavy so let me give you guys a peek over the design of the card. The Tri-X fans. And guys, this card was built with style. Let's turn the back part to see. It has a back plate. One of the nicest back plates I've seen on a graphic card for now it's very nice so let's turn the graphic card on the other side and you can see different kind of supports so what do we have what does the graphic card does it has the viper x technology and it's also the try, try viper x different kind of fans which they call it the tri x fan so to the tri x viper chamber kind of technology i don't even know how to pronounce the word because i'm so excited to have this graphic card benchmarking in performance we have here on this side we have the normal pci express 16x slot it is a 3.0 pci express slot you have the in interface you have what we call DVI D DVI then you have HDMI then you have display port so you can connect to five different monitors on this graphic card one of the strong output from AMD and on top the fans how to look like really nice and beautiful very nice on the bottom there is nothing great but it's also designed and on the side we have the this logo which says sci-fi and what this logo does is that the logo tells you depending on the performance that you are in and the heat output it tells you that oh right now it will tell you good green is normal standard sorry guys red is not the 60 to 80 but it is yellow it's a heat output from 60 to 80 then we have red which means a heat output over 80 which means that the graphic card is intense in performance on this side here as you guys can see let me get it inside the light for you we have this sapphire logo is the overclocking button actually not overclocking as the card overclock it says the bios switch you have your dual bios the BIOS, the first BIOS is the standard settings of the card, and the second BIOS you can overclock with the UEFI um, BIOS kind of software. You can overclock this card till it can't handle anymore, and it's meant for overclocking. So on the back, we have the nice back plate of the card. Really, it's beautiful, and the, it's. It's aluminum. It supports every kind of weight. Yeah. So, what do we have here? We have here the switch of the technology of the Viper X. The, what the switch does is that the switch, once you switch it on, on it's it recognizes the temperature that your card is. So, let's assume you have from 0 to 60, it will just use 1 fan and this will be the viper x fan and once it go over 60 both fan of the of the other side will be activated so it's kind of noise reduction 
and also performance. So in performance, this is one of the most quiet cards you can buy on the market, really quiet and silent. I mean, if it's a silent, you can, you guys can see the heat sinks that cools the GPU. They have one, two, three, four, five, five different kind of heatings which connect to the rig to cool your GPU. So guys, this is the unboxing of the Sapphire Vapor X 29 R9 290X. So thank you for watching by and sorry for the noise and all kind of <laughs> mistake which have come into the video, but I will correct that with a tap around which shows you if I said something wrong or not. So thank you once more for watching my unboxing of the new Sapphire Viper X R9 290. See you in the next video. For the next video coming soon, there will be a benchmark from this card to see how it performs. And unfortunately, the benchmark I make, I don't do it in overclocking. I do it standard base settings. So you guys can see how the card performed in base settings standard. Overclocking it will perform higher than normal. Thank you for watching. See you. Guys, just a small peek. This is my old XFX 7970 graphic card compared to the size of the new one. So you guys have a peek of it.